Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I want to show you today how to get Sampletude Music Studio and the Behringer X18 working. After you get the XR18 uh, set up with the driver and you open up Sampletude, just go up here to File and it's going to be in Program Preferences, System Audio, go to Audio Setup, make sure that it's on the X18 ASIO driver and then on the playback make sure the playback is set to 17 and 18 and that's it for there one more thing on the um, on the XR is the sample rate is in the project settings so you go to project properties and go to project information and we'll look at uh, general and that's where you change it to any one of the sample rates right now it's on 44 because the XR 18 is also on 44 here if we go to setup take a look under audio MIDI it can either be 44 or 48 uh, just make sure that you have that set accordingly so that they both match or else you'll get a mismatch and it will complain about that and when you're opening up a new um, or an existing project and the sample rate isn't correct it can cause all kinds of problems okay after that's all done then the real easy part is I'll just close this here click on this track editor flyout <clears throat> expand the audio and look for the in puts you can see that they're all paired up one two so we only have eight if you change this to mono then you get all of the inputs and you just go down the line you can start a project with 16 inputs and then change them all according to uh, what you want to record through the inputs and you could name this one drums now one cool thing that I found out about Sampletude is it will actually query up a picture so if I type in drums here it automatically puts drums guitar put a guitar bass vocal all works out like that I think you can even get keyboard in here we'll go um, to insert new track track one just try that out and that puts it in and after you do that then you're ready to record with the XR18 and it works great so I hope you like this tutorial I don't know if I'm gonna go in depth with sample tube it's a pretty awesome program there's some neat things in there that I like to showcase so maybe I'll make another couple of tutorials for Sampletude and uh, let me know if you want more then I, I sure would make some more tutorials so take care and I'll see you in the next video bye bye now